Welcome to the webinar. My name's Kevin Harvey and I'm here today to tell you about how my life has changed significantly. How it's changed from a life that I really wasn't happy with. A life that I always felt really stuck into a life that I can wake up and say, yes, yes, this is my life. This is what, the life that I want to live. This is an amazing life that I love. Now who out there wants to have a life that they absolutely love? A life that you can wake up and say, yes, yes, this is what I want to do. This is the life that I live, that I love, and that I've chosen. If that's you, then let's get on to this. My goal today is to take you through the science and techniques that you must understand to change your attraction point. And I'll show you the exact week by week process that's guaranteed for you to live your awesome yes yes life right now. A process that my mentor and coach has been developing for over 10 years. Now I just want to start by saying I really appreciate you. I don't want to waste any of your time. I'm going to take you through this quickly. We're going to go through a step by step plan I'll show you the cutting edge techniques which I can teach you and tell you about the next steps with me. So if you think this is a presentation to sell you something, then yes it is. But you'll also learn something on this presentation. And so even if you choose not to buy from me today or in the future, you'll still get something really valuable from this presentation. So without any mucking around, let's get into it. So today is for you if you are an aspirational and motivated person who wants to get everything out of your life. Have you ever wondered why some people break through and others don't? Have you ever said to yourself, if only I had more money, then maybe I could buy that car that I wanted. If only I had more money, I could buy the house and then it would be awesome. If only I had more time, then I could actually really enjoy my life. The problem is, it's your emotional vibration. When you're saying, I want more money, actually, what's that money going to buy you? It's going to buy you a car, maybe a house, but what's the actual feeling that you're going to have from that? It's not the car, it's the feeling of feeling free, feeling abundant, feeling like you're, you're awesome. It's that freedom and abundance feeling. It's the feeling that you're after. And that's what we're, we're trying to identify here. It's not the more bunny, it's the freedom and the abundance feeling. It's the emotional vibration. What about the relationship? Hey, I want to have a relationship. Actually, why do you want to be in a relationship? Because you want to feel connection. You want to feel support. You want to feel love. Rather than concentrating on what you want, we're going to start concentrating on how you will feel from that. And this isn't just a touchy-feely little thing that we're going to go through. This is just part of it. So part of it is the emotional vibration, concentrating on how you feel. And this is an and very important part of what we'll teach you today. So what I'll cover today, secret number one. We'll go through three secrets. Secret number one, the secret five-step method to magically manifest anything you desire without the risk of failure. Secret number two, how to become limitless by using a three-part neuroscience brain hack. And secret number three, the 12-step step process, step process that you can follow to live your awesome yes, yes life today. Because of the system, for me, I have an amazing partner. I have two super fun kids. I love my house where I live by the beach. I have great friends and I have a life that I absolutely love. But it wasn't, wasn't always this way. I grew up in a middle-class family I followed society's rules. I went to school, went to university, I got a degree, I got a good job, and I worked hard. I met my partner, I got married, I had two kids. Hmm, must be living the dream, right? Well, life was okay, but it really wasn't great. Next thing I knew, my relationship fell apart, I got separated, the kids were extremely difficult, and I was stuck in my job, paying a huge mortgage. I was not living a life that I wanted, I was not happy. There had to be more to life. And I didn't know where to find it. So who else feels this way? Who else is feeling like they're stuck where they are? They're not having living a life that they really love. Who else thinks that they could be living a better life? Who else sees other people living a better life and saying, why not me? Why aren't I having this amazing life? Why is my life not, really not feeling great, feeling so crap? Who else feels it like they're always striving, they're wanting something more, they're working harder to get something more and just never really achieving it? So I wanted that better life. I wanted a life I could love. And I went searching. And I came across a really amazing guy who had also struggled and wanted more from life. Who had also, well, he had tried everything. I hadn't tried everything. He tried everything he could get his hands on. He had some great successes and some great failures. But he always kept learning, testing, and trying until he found the true success formula. He found, followed his formula and to create massive success. So Chris showed me the formula he had used to change his life. Wow, this is huge. 
I was full of fear. Could I really do it? Was I good enough? What if I failed? What would others say if I start living a different life and doing things differently? I decided it was worth the risk. Worst case, I'd end up exactly where I was already. So I decided to go all in. I focused on one goal. I worked on myself every day. I paid for group coaching. And I found the teaching was correct. All beliefs are unconscious. Everything that we believe is unconscious. It's things that we've learned and stored in our unconscious brains. All things are created twice. Everything that we do, we see ourselves doing in our mind first. We see ourselves taking actions, writing a word down. If you write down your name right now, you'd see it in your mind and then you put it down on paper. All things are created twice. Number three, structural tension was the missing piece. And I'll cover a bit later on what structural tension exactly is. But the brief overview is it's knowing where you are, it's knowing where you want to be, and creating that tension to get you to your goal. I found my sabotage patterns. I stopped reinforcing those sabotage patterns. I took the right action, and I decided to create internal success for me. Not for anyone else, but for me. Secret number one, the five-step method to magically manifest anything you desire. So what is the, fi the five-step method? It's these methods here. We get clear, contribution-based vision. So we're visioning our life. We're visioning what we want to have. We're seeing it in our mind's eye, what we want to have. And we're contributing that to that because we're choosing what that vision is. We're aligning our mind and the emotion with the end result. So we're seeing what it is that we want to have up here. Okay, I want to have this life. What do I want to have in my life? What do I want to be doing? What does it look like? And how will I feel when I have that? What is it? that I'll feel. It's like when I have that amazing, whatever it is that you're thinking of, maybe it's a car, house, life, how will I actually feel when I have that? How would I feel when I have that end result? Number three, structural tension. So this is where I say we're going to create that structural tension. So let's say we've got point A. This is where we are today, and this is where we want to be. It's creating that tension between those points so that when we go from where we are to where we want to be, it's pulling us to that goal. And with that structural tension, we can choose to take correction and action on that path. If we just have it here, and we decide we're going to try this, or that, or the next thing, we have no clear direction. But when you create that tension, we know we want to go which way? We're going to go this way, right? We're creating that tension. We know where we're going to go, and we can choose to take correct action along that path. Part four, a morning meditation. So that's getting yourself into that feeling every morning every morning think about what is that goal that i want to have what is it that i want to have in my life and getting that clear in our mind and so that right throughout our day we're thinking about that life that we want to have we're thinking about what we want to be doing and we're taking action every day to get ourselves closer to that goal it doesn't have to be huge steps sometimes it's only one percent maybe even half a percent each day but each day we're taking a little bit of action and that's what we're focusing on that end goal and through that you can you can make massive changes just through tiny bits every day. Part five, get yourself a coach. Why a coach? Because a coach can see patterns that are going on in your life. They can see what you're doing. Things that we fooled ourselves on. We say, oh, I'm just too busy. And well, a coach will help you go through, okay, so why are you too busy? What is it that you're actually doing? And there's things that we tell ourselves to fool ourselves, to make ourselves believe that it's not possible, that it's not me. And that's where a coach can help you do that, can help you, if you choose to allow them, can help you to move past that. And a really good coach will give you some amazing tools that will get you through those blocks, help you identify them and move through them easily. And that's what I'm telling you about today. And my life improved dramatically. When I applied these five step methods, my life improved dramatically. I planned out the life that I wanted to live. I took took step-by-step -step action towards the life that I wanted, I started loving myself and loving my life. I started making like-minded friends, people that were thinking the same way as me, people that were maybe forward further from what I was in. I started dating better women, people that I actually was really thought was out of my reach before. I started thinking like my future self. It wasn't always easy. Some weeks I felt like I'd gone backwards. Some weeks I wondered, was it all worth it? Man, what am I doing? This is so hard. But what I realized was I wasn't following the formula. And so I decided to get myself a coach, and I got myself back on track. My dreams were coming true. Amazing opportunities were just opening up in front of me. I couldn't believe that these things were happening. 
I met my amazing, wonderful partner. My kids were settled and happy, and so many new opportunities were now visible to me. A lot of people say, you're just lucky. Well, actually, luck, you talk to anybody that's really successful, they say that luck is created. It's not just luck. It's no such thing as luck. This is the same thing here. So many new opportunities were now visible to me. There's a lot of things that we just don't see that are out there until you are actually in the mindset of looking for those, feeling those, and feeling that are possible. And that's when you start taking action. And those amazing opportunities will open up for you too. And I realized that I was now loving my life. So what is the key to it? You must be in your future feeling now. So where you're saying to yourself, I am truly satisfied with everything I have right now and I want to allow more. If all the money I had in the world was everything I had right now, if I didn't have any more, I can be truly satisfied with that. This is enough. What I have is enough. And being calm and relaxed and, and it's an attitude of gratitude. I'm grateful for everything I have right now. I'm grateful for the friends I have. I'm grateful for the car I've got or the house I've got or whatever I've got. I'm grateful for the friends. I'm grateful for the time that I get to spend with my family. I'm grateful for having people around me. And I'm grateful for everything I have right now. And if more happens to come in, then that's just even better. And I'll allow that. But I'm not saying I must have more before I can be happy. We must let go of trying to get somewhere or getting away from something. If we're tr always trying to get something, then we're never happy with what we've got. And we don't allow more to come in. We're trying to drive it so hard that we're actually driving away from where we are right now. We're saying, okay, I don't love my life right now. I'm not happy with my job. I just want something else. And if we can get let go of that, we can be truly satisfied with everything I have, everything you have, then you will allow more and more will come. Now you may be saying, this sounds a bit weird. Maybe maybe I can't change. Maybe even saying it's, it's in my genes, the way I am is just the way I am, and I cannot change. Well, I'm here to tell you about what science has been studying. Science has been telling us now that we can change. Let's talk a little bit about brain plasticity. Brain plasticity is a difficult word to say, but it's how everything's stored in our brains. Basically, we've got neural connections that are made inside our brain. They're called grey matter, and that grey matter can actually shrink or thicken depending on what's going on with it. So those neural connections are storing memories. And that's how everything's happening in our brain. It's, it's a physical process. And these are things that we're taught. So those things that are in our DNA, those are actually things that we've been taught. So our parents teach us things right from a very young age. From as soon as we're born, we're being taught by everything that's around us in our envir environment. And all those things are going into our unconscious brains. We've got our conscious brains, which is where we're choosing what we're thinking. And then you've got your um, subconscious. And your subconscious is the things that just play out automatically. And there is the, the subconscious is, is, I don't know how many, thousands, millions of times more powerful than our conscious brains. And those are things that just allow us to do things automatically. Now, how many people have ever got home and thought, my goodness, I just drove home and I have no recollection of how on earth I did that? I wasn't with it at all. And yet I've got home safely. I stopped at all the lights. I didn't run anyone over. didn't hit any cars. All of these things are happening around us has been processed automatically by our subconscious brains. It's taking in all those bits of light. It's images going into our eyes, going into our brains, being processed. That's a car. That's a person. That's a traffic light. That one's red. That one's green. So much stuff is being processed. When it's red, we stop. When it's green, we go. When it's orange, some of us stop. <laughs> But all of that is being processed by our subconscious brains and to making decisions that, that what we do and where we turn corners and whether we stop or start or go faster or slower, all of that is happening automatically in our brain. Isn't that just amazing that, that so many things are happening in our brain and causing physical actions in our body? And yet, so many of us say, it's in our DNA. Were you taught to drive by your DNA? No. How much those things are learned? So the learning to drive and being able to drive automatically is just another example, but it's, it's a very powerful example. It's telling us those things are all learnt. These are neural connections that are, are put in our brains. It's learning. It's a physical process. So let's go to the next slide. Now this footage shows what scientists believe and how an actual brain functions. So this footage shows an actual 
brain forming a new neural pathway. This is this will zoom in after this. But as you can see, that information is coming down. This is, like, this is imagining someone thinking about learning. Let's say they're learning a new dance step. They start to try and get it, trying to get it. And as that, that things are falling into place, oh, that's making sense. They start forming that new memory, and as those two pathways come together, that new memory is actually formed and locked in place. And this is happening in everyone thousands or even million times, millions of times every second. And this is going to show this is how your brain changes, and so it, it, we can change. We can all change. It's all able for anybody to change. So let's take it, carry on. What's secret number two? Secret number two, I said, was a three part neuroscience brain set brain hack. Firstly, we must decide decide on the next milestone towards your goal. We remember that structural tension that we had, where we are today, where we're going to be, creating that structural tension, what's the next milestone along that, that, that path? What's the next action or step that we've got to take? So it's part one of the three-part neuroscience brain hack, brain hack is deciding on the next milestone that you're going to take. Number two, this is where I said everything you, you see, everything completed twice. Firstly, you see it completed in your mind, and then you take the physical action. So step two, perfect completion. Seeing yourself doing that action perfectly in your mind's eye. Just picturing yourself doing it. And picturing yourself doing it perfectly. Imagine yourself, let's say, getting up on stage to talk to a, a huge audience. Seeing yourself getting up there, standing up there walking up confidently, introducing yourself perfectly. Hi, my name's Kevin Harvey. I'm here to talk to you today about this webinar. Seeing yourself doing that, seeing yourself doing it perfectly, talking to everyone perfectly, and going through, delivering that message powerfully, strongly, and having everyone understanding clearly what I'm saying, what you're saying. And coming to the end and just being really happy with everything that's, that's gone on. You've done, you've delivered your presentation perfectly. You're feeling amazing. People have understood it. People are receptive to it. People are, are feeling great. So seeing yourself completing that action perfectly in your mind's eye. And part three, the neuro-emotional embed. This is feeling the feelings of this already happening and training your body to feel that change. So coming off that stage feeling like, oh yes, I have done an amazing job. I communicated to people exactly what I wanted to have and people are just completely understanding and receiving everything that I'm wanting to convey to them. Feeling that feeling of having completed it and completing it so well, being so happy. This could be winning a running a race and coming in. Why not see yourself winning that race? If you want to win a race, then you want to see yourself completing that in first place. You wouldn't see yourself completing it in third place because that's not going to be actually where you want to be. You've got to see yourself completing it perfectly and then feeling the feelings of how it would feel when it's done. And secret number three, so how do I learn this? Secret number three was a 12, was a 12 step process. How do I learn this? It's the Magnetic Mind Program. This Magnetic Mind Program is a 12 week process to take anyone from struggle and sacrifice to living your awesome yes yes life. The big problem, your natural conflicts will stop you. Your past, your past is safe, it's proven, you know what you're doing. You come home, you open your front door, you know exactly what's there. Your house is going to be there, it's going to be safe. You don't hesitate every time you open that door. You go to a new house, you're like opening the door, you don't know what's there. It's not safe, it's not proven, it's unknown. So that's why your future, your future feels unsafe, unproven to you. You will always keep yourself safe. Your body and your instincts will naturally keep you safe. And so your past being safe and proven means that it's much easier to play out the old story that you had before, play out the old actions that you've got before. Your future, however, that's unsafe, it's unproven, you don't know what's going to happen. So that's a lot harder, you've got to push yourself to do that. And when you try to change or step out of the ways you've always done things, those natural conflicts will stop you and you'll try and keep yourself safe, following your old beliefs. As there's nothing to prove yourself, there's a new way of this new way of being is actually safe. So let's quickly just, just go through a quick story here. So there's an experiment that's conducted using a group of monkeys. Where they put five a group of five scientists put five monkeys in a large cage. High up at the top of the cage, well beyond the reach of the monkeys, is a bunch of bananas. And underneath the bananas is a ladder. The monkeys immediately spot the bananas and one begins to climb the ladder. 
As he does so, the scientists spray him and all the other monkeys with a stream of icy cold water. The monkey on the ladder scrambles off, and all five sit for a time on the floor, wet, cold, and bewildered. Soon, though, the temptation of the bananas is too great, and another monkey begins to climb the ladder. Again, the scientists spray the ambitious monkeys with the icy cold water. All of them get sprayed. When another monkey tries to climb the ladder, the other monkeys, wanting to avoid the cold spray, pull him off the ladder and beat him up a little bit. Now one monkey is removed and a new monkey is introduced to the cage. Spotting the bananas, he naively begins to climb the ladder. The other monkeys pull him off and beat him. Now here's where it gets interesting. They remove a second monkey from the cage and replace him with a new monkey. Again, the new monkey begins to climb the ladder and again, the other monkeys pull him off and beat him. Including the monkey that had never been sprayed with the water. They continue on until all the monkeys have been replaced and they continue to beat anyone who tries to climb the ladder even though none of the monkeys have ever been sprayed with the icy cold water. Now just think about what the behaviours are that are in common with our society today. Anyone who tries to climb the ladder. What do we do? What do we say to them? And how many of us cut down others who are trying to take action? So that's going back to our old self is safe. Where we are is safe. However, where we want to be is unsafe. It's unproven. And that's as you try and step out of where you are, of your old self, and trying to step into that new self. Not only will you find it unsafe for yourself, but others around you will also see it as being unsafe, unproven. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? You shouldn't do that. That's not the way to go. And you'll strike that through various parts of society. So what is your sabotage patterns? Do you even have a true goal in life? Do you know what you want? What are your goals? Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want a new relationship. Maybe you want to invest in property. Maybe you want to be a better partner or a better dad. And what's your reason for not taking action on these things? What is your reasoning that you're telling yourself for not taking those actions? Where is the power? Maybe you're saying, oh, I can't do it. I can't invest in property until the market changes. I can't um, buy stock until the market goes up. Maybe when I meet the girl of my, my dreams, then I can have an awesome, great life. All sorts of things. Where is the power? All that power is outside of yourself. You're putting that power into someone else, into something else. That power needs to be brought back inside you. You need to be your choice. Maybe you're saying, are you trying to resolve the way you're feeling incomplete? When I see the results, then I can believe that I'm a great leader. When I can see the results, then I can, can believe that I'm a great dad. We're waiting for the result before you even start taking the action. Let's go through a quick exercise here. Seeing your future self. Now what I want you to do is if you um, grab a pen and paper and just have that right in front of you. If you don't have it, it's a webinar, you can pause it, go grab a pen and paper, come back and we'll carry on with this. This is a really powerful, fun exercise for you, for you seeing your future. Right, now that you've got your pen and paper there, we're going to use that in a minute, but firstly we're going to go through the exercise and this is a, a closed eye exercise where I want you just to relax back in your chair there. To sit back in your chair and let that chair support you. Get yourself really comfortable, maybe just move around a little bit so that you're super comfortable. Really relax. And then I want you to close your eyes and relax back into that chair. Take a big deep breath and let it out and just feel that chair supporting you. And sit back there and take another two deep breaths. Just feel your body relaxing, feel all of your body feeling nice and calm, nice and relaxed. You're in a nice, safe environment. Nothing's bad going to happen. You know where you are. You know that you're safe. And then now that you're nice and relaxed with your eyes closed, and I've got my eyes closed, I'd like you to bring up a picture of a future goal that you want to have. It's something that you've been thinking about for a while. I want to do this. I want to have this. I want to have this thing in my life. Picture that future goal right now. Now really see it there. See it right in front of you. See yourself actually achieving that goal. See yourself achieving that. What would it be like to be there? Put yourself in there. Maybe there's people around you. Who's around you? Just see that around you. Who's around you? What can you hear? What can you see? Make that really clear in your mind. Just be in there. Be in your body. You can see things around you. You can see your hands in front of you. See who's around you. And how does it feel to have achieved that? 
maybe people are congratulating you. Maybe people are hugging you. Maybe things are just feeling really good. And you're saying to yourself, oh, I just, I'm really happy. Just feel that feeling in your body and feel what it would feel like to have achieved that future goal. And now that you've got that, that feeling inside you, you can know what it would be like to have achieved that goal, your goal, that goal that you wanted to achieve. Let's come back to, to right to the, today. Keeping your eyes closed, what is your reality like right now compared to achieving that future goal? What is it like living your life right now? And how does it feel to have this experience? How does it feel right now compared to what that future goal is? What it would be like to have that future life that you wanted? And now that you can feel that, what I want you to do is just, just take note of what is the obvious next step that you need to take in order to achieve that future goal doesn't have to be the big step, it's what's the step that you are not taking right now that you should be taking or you need to take in order to be on the path to create that life, that future, achieve that future goal. And when you've got that goal, what, when, sorry, when you've got that step, when you're really clear on what that step is, I want you to open your eyes and write down, my next step that I must take is, and write it down on that piece of paper. So you're really clear, what is that next step that you need to take, that you haven't been taking, that you haven't started, maybe that you're avoiding. And just have it down on that piece of paper. Now I want to ask you, why have you not taken that step yet? What's holding you back? Maybe you have some limiting beliefs there. Maybe you're saying to yourself, I'm not worthy. Maybe you're feeling that you're not good enough. Maybe that you feel that if I do, ta do that, then I won't belong. I don't belong to that group, or if I do that, I'll step away from my friends, and I won't belong to my friends or my family. Maybe you're feeling that you're insignificant or invisible. I can't be that person. I can't be that, that thing. Or maybe you're feeling that you don't have the capacity within you to do that. Or maybe you feel that it must be perfect, the perfect time, the perfect people, the perfect action. Everything must be perfect before you can take that step. I've got to confess that I was a um, perfectionist myself. And so that was one of the things. Like I was always trying to get everything lined up get everything in the right place, right order, right timing, right everything. And only when I had things perfect could I then take that step forward. And it's only through this program that I've managed to significantly change that feeling and that behavior within myself and take some significant action to change my life and get the real life that I wanted. What I always had in my mind of what I wanted to have, but I never took action because I was waiting for the right time. The right time, the right time's right now. So what is your sabotage pattern? What are your reservations and stories that are stopping you? I just told you my story. That's one of mine. What are your judgments of yourself or others? And what are your inner conflicts? Maybe you're saying, oh, if I start doing this work to try and obtain this goal, then my kids over here, I can't, I can't neglect my kids. I can't do that. You're seeing them in two separate buckets. You're having conflicts there. There's many other conflicts that you might be having. And when you have all these things coming up, how do you resolve that tension? What do you do? Can you resolve that tension or do you just stop taking action? Let's run through some of the unconscious mistakes that we make. Number one, not getting clear on what you really want, only what you do not want. Are you really clear on what that goal is, what you want to have in your life, what it is that you want to have, where you want to be? Where do you want to be in your life? Could you imagine not knowing what, you're, you're, what you want to have in life? How many of you don't know what you want to have in life? Could you imagine getting into a taxi, saying to the taxi driver, don't take me to the airport. I'm just trying to get away from something. It's like, what? What do you mean? Where do I drive you? The taxi driver would think you're a bit crazy. They wouldn't know where to take you. Where would you end up? You'd end up anywhere. If you don't know where you want to be, then you won't get to your destination. So you need to get really clear on what you want. You've got to, when you get in a taxi, you're really clear on what you want. You instruct them on what you want, and you get action. You get to where you want to be. If you got in there and said, don't take me to the airport, where are you going to end up? Anywhere. Anywhere but where you want to be. Mistake number two, you're stuck. Maybe you're stuck in a limiting pattern that you're not good enough. I'm not right. I'm limiting myself. I'm always stuck in the same place. Mistake number three, you're living to make someone else happy. You're thinking that something else external will make something internal different. Everything you do is taking actions to make someone else's life better and in the hope that will make your own life better. 
Mistake number four, you've not shifted the core beliefs. You're trying to create a new life while running your old programming. Now, how many people have changed jobs hoping that their life will get better? Maybe they'll be that outgoing person. Maybe things will change in their life. Okay, if I behave this way at the new job, then they don't know my old previous behaviors, then it will be good. And then what happens a few months later? Back to the same old patterns, aren't we? We haven't changed the internal programming that's running. We're still running the same programming, behave, have the same behaviors, the same core beliefs. You need to shift those core beliefs if you want to behave in a different way and be that new person. Mistake number five, trying to prove that your future actions will be successful by looking into your past results. How do you prove that you'll be successful as something new, whatever your new, new future self is, by looking back into a completely different reality that it is at the moment? Could you imagine changing jobs? Maybe you're changing from being a supermarket checkout operator into being a uh, million dollar speaker. They like get up the front, speak to millions of people. How on earth can you see, see that? I mean, it's a big jump, of course. But how can you look back into what I was doing at the supermarket to know that you're going to be good as a speaker? You can't. You can't look back into your future results to prove that you're you can't look back into your past results to prove that your future is going to be successful. Sometimes we just have to take these steps. Mistake number six, you're out of emotional alignment with what you desire. You're not feeling worthy of that result. You're not feeling that you want to have this amazing thing happen in your life, but you're not feeling worthy of it. It's just, it's for other people. Other people get that. That's not for me. I really want it. I'm working hard to get it, but it's really, it's not my, I'm not worthy of it. Mistake number seven, you do not have mentors who are where you want to be. You want to find someone that is where, is doing what you want to do, being, being the person that you want to be. Let's say, for example, um, you want to invest in property and have maybe rental properties or a start a business. You want to find someone that is already successful in the rental market. They already have a number of rental properties and talk to them and find out what they did. Maybe it's shares or a property or um, a business. You find someone that is really successful in those areas and you talk to them and you have them as a mentor. How did you do it? What do we do? What's the path you followed? How many advice, how many people, how many of us are taking advice from the wrong people? How many of you talked, have talked to your co-workers or colleagues about shares and they're not even in the share market? They give you a whole lot of advice. They tell you all these stories, but they're not even doing it themselves. Oh, it's not the good time. I've seen all these things going wrong. How many people are just talking? And how many of us are trying to avoid failure by not even getting started? So, will this all be hard work? It sounds pretty hard. I've got to take all these actions. I'm going to step outside myself. I've got, to, uh, I've got to be someone else. It's unsafe. So yes, we have these questions that we're asking ourselves, but let's talk about a few laws. The law of gravity exists. We all know that we're stuck to the ground. But gravity just pulls us down. But the law of gravity is superseded by lift. Planes fly. If, if it wasn't superseded by lift, then planes would never get off the ground. So hard work also exists. We can do this the hard way. Yes, we can work really, really hard. We can just force ourselves through it. But hard work is superseded by creating a magnetic mind, which is what we're talking about today. Creating that magnetic mind to attract in what you want, to attract what you need, what you feel you want to achieve in life. And it can make it change it from being doing it the hard way to doing it the smart way. The truth is that 64% of billionaires are self-made. They are just like us. They overcame their past to create an elite future. Let's go through a few people. Oprah Winfrey. She was born into poverty. She was a teen to a teen mum, and she's now North America's first multi-billionaire black person. J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter books and sold over 400 million co copies. <coughs> Excuse me. Albert Einstein. He didn't speak until he was four years old. I thought he was a bit of a dud, and yet he gave us the theory of relativity and many other concepts that scientists still struggle to understand today. Mark Cuban, he's worth 2.3 billion, yet he was fired from his first job. He lived in a three bedroom apartment with five other guys. Jim Carrey, he used to be homeless. He dropped out of school. Look at him now. Steven Spielberg, he couldn't even get into the film school of his, his choice. 
Jay Z. He couldn't get signed into any record labels, and now he's a net worth of five hundred million dollars. The list goes on and on. So what are your excuses? Maybe you're saying to yourself, "I don't have time." The truth, the truth is, once you set up the course of action, it only takes about thirty minutes a day. Maybe you're saying, "I have problems sticking to things." Well, most humans have the ability to stick to the things. Right now, you're sticking to the belief that you don't stick to things, and you're doing it really well. The key is. Knowing what to do and why, creating a daily habit until it becomes normal, and this is one thing we talk about an awful lot in the magnetic mind. Secret number two: How to become limitless with that three-part neuroscience brain hack? It was deciding on the next milestones that you towards your goals, seeing yourself doing it perfectly in your mind's eye, and feeling the feelings that's already happening. So use that three-part neuroscience brain hack. Decide on what you want. See yourself completing it and feeling the feeling of you having already done it. This is how it makes it takes it from hard work to being easy. Seeing yourself having it done means you're not forcing yourself through it. In your mind, you've already completed. You've already done it. You've already succeeded. You've already got that feeling of success, success from it. All you got to do now is take the actual action. It makes it so much easier. What were the problems? Your past will limit you. It's full of employee mentors. How do you step out of that employee thing and still have a mentor that's below you? It doesn't work. A bad money mindset. Money's hard work. It's full of limitations. What are the limitations that are in your mind that have been programmed into you? That have come from your family, from your friends, from the people that surround you, from yourself even. What you must change are your beliefs. You must change your family entanglements. All the things that hold us back that say. Oh, if I start stepping out into that area, then maybe my family won't actually be around me anymore. What are the limiting emotions that you've got for yourself? What are the unconscious desires and rules that we have that we tell ourselves? Are you feeling worthy, or are you feeling unworthy of that goal? What are the conflicting parts? Those parts that maybe if I do this, then I won't be part of that. If I start a business, I won't be able to spend time with my kids. We must change these beliefs. Many people think I'm just the way I am. I can't change. I've already tried. Maybe even saying I'm not talented enough. I don't know enough. Remember this: your brain is constantly changing. Every second of every day, we can learn new things. It's able to change. You're learning new things. You're listening to the seminar. How many of you now know what those three secrets are? You learnt those on this webinar, didn't you? Your brain is changing constantly. All those things. A belief that we said uh, are just the way I am. They are all programmed into our subconscious brains. Anything that we've learnt can also be changed. So if we've learnt to be less than what we want to be, we can also learn to be better than what we want to be. We can change. Every one of us can change. It doesn't matter where you are now. What matters is your willingness to learn. You are where you are because you don't think you know enough. It's a result of your thinking. Change your thinking, and you will change your results. The truth is, in order to learn anything, you have to create new neural pathways. All you need to do is learn, learn a new way of being. The person you think you are is just a learned identity. Secret number three: that's the twelve-step process. How to create your millionaire magnetic mind. Introducing the magnetic mind program. This program is for anyone who wants to magnetically create their future. Do you want to do it the hard way, or do you want to do it the The smart way. This is the answer. I didn't know any of this before. I sought out the right strategies to change my mindset. I applied myself, and I created an awesome life for myself. And you can do it too. The Magnetic Mind is the 12-week program that guides you step by step from surviving through to thriving. Now, I'll just tell you a bit about my mentor. So, Chris is my mentor, my coach, my trainer. He's a multi-million-dollar business owner. He's a two-times best-selling author. He's married to the love of his life and lives in paradise by the beach in the Gold Coast. He's lived and worked from dozens of cities, and he's spoken to huge live audiences, sometimes up to over a hundred thousand people. He's a first-generation millionaire, so he's just like us, lived living a dream, living his life of freedom, and living a life that he absolutely loves. This wasn't always the way for him either. He grew up in a middle-class family. He followed society rules. He went to uni. He got a good job. He got stuck in a job, and he was wanting more. But he took action. 
he formed his vision. He wanted to have, at that time, a business that made $100,000. He wanted to meet his partner in crime, his wife. He wanted a body he was proud of. And he wanted to positively change the world. So he started a business. The results were really slow. Everywhere he looked, he saw other people winning. Other people were doing it better. What was this difference? Why was he not being the winner? He knew it was him. So he worked on his mindset. He got certified in NLP twice. He studied hypnosis. He studied strategic strategies. He went into study life coaching. He attended Tony Robbins seminars. He did Money and You. He did Matrix Energetics. Manifesting all possibilities. He studied EFT. You name it, Chris tried it. And through all this, he won. He built himself a $4.5 million company. He married the love of his life. And he moved to the Gold Coast. And he spends every day inspiring and helping others. And he has a life that he now loves. And he was talking with a self-made billionaire friend who said to Chris, Chris, I've seen what you've been through and I've seen what you've done. You have to teach what you know. It's the truth. It's all about that vibration, thinking, and manifestation. So Chris created the Magnetic Mind program. And in creating that, he went through and he studied neuroscience. He studied epigenetics. He interviewed billionaires. He reversed engineered what had worked for him. What were the secrets? What were the parts that worked? What didn't work? What is the keys? What is the, the true key to that success? And he learned, learned how to make our conscious brains aware of our subconscious programming. All those things that play out in our subconscious that limit us. And he learned how to make our conscious brains aware of that. So this is the Magnetic Mind program. This is a program that Chris created, which I'm here to teach with you, to tell you about today. It's a 12-week program that guides you step-by-step step from surviving through to thriving. So you get to create your own Magnetic Mind. So we go through, we create your mission, vision, and values. We identify what is that mission that you want to have? What is it that you want to have in your life? Vision that uh, awesome life. Vision that life that you want to have. And identify what are your values? What, what are the values today? And what are the values of that person that you want to be? We look at how they're aligned. We'll go through and teach you six unconscious unpacking questions. It's where we can draw out what are those unconscious things that are playing out in our minds. There's some really powerful questions which you can go through. You can use them yourself. This is a course where we will teach you. It's, it's where I'll coach you, but we'll coach you in a way that we'll, I'm also teaching you these things. This is not just you come to me, I'll do it, and if you're not with me, you won't be able to do anything. This is a teaching one as well. We'll show you how to use these techniques for yourself, on yourself. We'll help teach you how to create internal leverage. I'll teach you nine change patterns and the emotional conditioning procedure. So here's what you get from this program. You can get either weekly coach, you can get weekly coaching, and it can be either one or one, or in a group. The 12 week program, let's have a real in-depth look at this. What is this 12 week program gonna be about? This is week by week. So week one, we'll go through, we create your lenses where we look at what is your mission? What is your vision? What are the milestones that you wanna create? What are, and break that down into milestones. Then we'll go through week two, we're going to align your values. Because we already want to, we've all got values, we've got values that we want to keep to. And so we'll make sure those are in alignment, because you'll never achieve your goal if your values are not in alignment with your goal. We'll look at your internal state and help you to understand what's happening there. We'll take you through a perceptual shift process, and we'll teach you a seven-step emotional alignment process. And we'll take you through a redecision process. These processes are super powerful. They're so good. Things that have been programmed into our subconscious, things that are stopping us and holding us back. We can learn that we can redecide those things that we've we've previously decided. Things that we have learned that just play out automatically. There's no other option in our mind. Basically, those things they do have other options, but we're not aware of those. So each time an action happens, our brain automatically follows a set path to the result. It saves, saves thinking. It's the easiest thing to do is not have to choose every single step. So when, let's say, when I pick up a pen, I know that it will write with ink. You don't choose all of those. Hey, this is a, this is a piece of plastic. It's got a, a, some sin thing in the center. Maybe it will do something. Uh, it can write. All those things are automatic decisions. 
in the same way, those automatic decisions play out in our life, play out in the actions that we take. They play out every day. And through the re-decision re technique, we can question some of those things. We can decide that we want to have a different outcome from some of the automatic processes, automatic actions that we are taking in our life. Week seven, we go through whiting out negative emotions. We can turn fears and phobias and trauma into wisdom. We can get the learning from what that is. We can understand what it's about. Why are we trying to keep ourselves safe and why do we think it's unsafe? And through that, we can white out those negative emotions. Teach you the quantum model to be able to teach you how to remove internal conflicts. I teach you the magic of metaphors. I'm getting a bit tongue-tied already. Teach you the double bubble and also take you through family entanglements. That family entanglements, entanglements is super powerful. And that's where we can remove suffering obligations of love that we have with our family. Things that we may feel that if I start earning too much money, then I won't be part of our family. I really want to earn all this extra money to help my family, but then if I do that, then I'll be a person that wouldn't fit in with my family. Things like that. That's just one example of things that play out in our mind. So those family entanglements, we can, under, we can start identifying them and stop ourselves fighting with ourselves over what we're trying to achieve versus what we're able to do. I'll teach you nine core NLP-based processes. We went through some of them in that week-by-week that -week program. But these are the nine core NLP-based processes which I'll teach you. I'll teach you magnetic alignment, the negative belief flip, creating inner power, emotional recode process, we we'll teach you to dissolve conflicting parts within you. Create total abundance for yourself. Creating authentic confidence. And creating an internal inner fire for yourself. And also teach you advanced anchoring. So who will this work for? This will work for anyone who's committed to learning a process to create predictable change. And who wants to create a life of total freedom. So why do people not get started? You think that you're not ready. This will hold you back because you're never ready from what is really going to help us. It's always going to feel slightly unsafe. It's not proven. I want to see the results before I start. You would think that you're never ready. So who's ready right now? Who's seen this? Who's understanding what's going on here and wants to know more? This program has just absolutely changed my life and it's absolutely awesome. I totally and utterly believe in it and I wouldn't waste my time on it if I didn't do so. So who's ready right now to take that next step? Who wants to know more about it? This is the program here, the Magnetic Mind 12-week program. We have a group package or a one-on-one -on -one package. This is the details of the group package here. You get lifetime access to online training and videos and the meditations. We'll give you 12 weekly group trainings. This is group trainings with myself. We'll take a number of people through that process, including yourself. And we'll give you an, one uh, in-depth one-on-one lens of session where we go through individually with you to identify what is that goal that you want to have in life and help you to break that down into manageable steps that make sense over the next day, week, month, 90 days, one year to your life, breaking it down. The total value of that package is over $5,000, but we've got a real special deal for you today. The one-on-one -on -one package includes all the same things in that group package. It includes that lifetime access to the online training videos, includes a 12 weekly group training, so you can attend the group training as well as the one-on-one -on -one training. So the 12 weekly group training with myself will take you through that one in-depth one-on-one lenses session and will also take you through weekly personal one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. We are really getting into what are the things that are patterns that are pay playing out for you? What are the things that are stopping you? Why is it that you're not taking action? What's been on your to-do list? What is that next step that you've been intending to take and you haven't take, taken? Why is that happening? How can we break through that? And having, really having amazing breakthroughs that are individual and tailored just for you. Total value of the package is over $8,000. And we do have that special pro, pro, um, pricing for you today. So just a reminder of what this is. The Magnetic Mind 12-week program. We're creating your lenses, we're aligning your values, we're creating an internal state. We'll take you through week four, the per perceptual shift process. Week five, the seven step emotional alignment. Week six, the redecision. Week seven, going through whiting out those negative emotions. Week eight, teaching you the quantum model. Week nine, we're removing internal conflicts. Week 10, teaching you the magic of metaphors. Week 11, the double bubble. And week 12, the family entanglements. These are all amazing 
learning processes. This is where we're teaching you these. I'll teach it to you, I'll take you through it, and I'll leave it with you. With those meditation we talked about, they'll have those meditations where you can go away and you can do it yourself. So what's the nine core NLP-based processes? If you don't know about NLP, then I highly recommend you go and have a bit of a look on the internet about it. But what it is, is neuro-linguistic programming. That is where you have, you're programming your brain to think the way that you want it to think. This is not hypnosis, it's nothing to be scared of. This is something that you're completely in control of. It's very similar to the exercise that we went through earlier in the, this presentation where we sat there and we visualized something. That was the very start of one of those processes. And through that, you can make change within yourself. You can change those limiting beliefs. You can change those things that are playing out unconsciously in your brain. So the nine core NLP based processes that I'll teach you is the magnetic alignment, the negative belief flip, creating inner power, doing an emotional recode, dissolving those conflicted parts, creating total abundance, teaching you authentic confidence, taking through internal inner fire, having that internal fire within yourself, and teaching you advanced anchoring. So that 12 week program, we've got the group package or the one on one package. Now who's excited about this right now? We've got a really special price for those people that really are wanting to take action. I really appreciate that you've taken all this time to come all the way through this webinar. And I can already see that you are an action taker by the fact that you have stayed here right through this whole presentation. So there's a special price for people that are real action takers. For the group package, we've got all of those lifetime access to online training and videos and meditations. We've got the weekly group training with myself. We've got a one-on-one -on -one in depth lens session where I'll go through that with each of you individually to identify what you want. The total value over $5,000, but today only 1997. What about the one-on-one -on -one package? Where we've got all of the same thing as the, as the group package with the lifetime access to the online training and videos. We've got the 12 weekly group training with, my, with myself. We've got in-depth one-on-one lens session plus the one-on-one -on -one package includes that weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching where we're really getting in there. We're really cracking down on what are those things that are limiting you? What are the things that are holding you back? And making a significant change, changing those mindsets, changing what you're thinking, changing it from being, doing it the hard way, pushing through and just making things happen or most likely not making things happen into doing it the smart way, feeling it having that magnetic mind that attracts what you want in there. So there we have it, the group package. The group package is 1997. That's amazing value on its own. Or you can have the one-on-one -on -one package. It's only an extra thousand dollars. It's only 2997. Now who wants to have one-on-one -on -one action access to a coach which provides you special training, takes you through what's going on in your life, looks at those actions, identifies what are those patterns that are playing out, those things that we're fooling ourselves, things that we're telling ourselves we can't do, and provides you change in those areas. Provides you those NLP-based processes. NLP is a proven system that has created change in, in millions of people worldwide. And this is what we're using, along with coaching, to create significant change in your life. Now those prices, you can pay those prices immediately. We also have payment plans available for you. If those prices are too high or you can't do it straight away, we can talk about payment plans and how that can all fit in for you. Now who is this for? This works for anyone who is committed to learning a process to create predictable change and who wants to create a total life of freedom. So what are the next steps? Well, we've got a special deal for you today. If you want to know more about this process, want to know what I'm like as a coach, I will do a special breakthrough session. We will get on a call. We can sit down there, answer any questions that you've got, take you through an actual session, just like we would do when we're coaching. And we'll call it a breakthrough session. We'll go through, we'll break through whatever's stopping you right now and give you an example of what the coaching is like. So who's interested in doing that? Who wants to get out there and really feel they are obtaining their amazing life, they are obtaining the life that they want, that they are getting what they want in life, things that have been, they've been not take, been taking action, how would it be, how would you feel if you were able to take those actions to actually obtain that life that you really wanted? I've done it, I've gone through it, I'm loving the life I've got right now, I'm taking more and more action every single day, 
and this has just been amazing to attract in the life that I absolutely love, a life that I really, really love, and a partner and friends and family. So let's get started. My email address is there. You can also get hold of me. Most of you would have come through a Facebook link. Get in touch with me. The messenger link is there. I'd love to hear from you. Let's book in a session. It's a free session. Do a breakthrough session with you. Show you what my coaching is like. Understand what we would actually be doing and how that would have you give you true value that would take you from where you are right now to being able to have your amazing life. Let's get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you.